And that brings us to the end of this news transmission. Our news tomorrow evening at 10 minutes past 8 will also be in English. Right. The Reverend Bill Price conducts our epilogue tonight. From all of us here, good night. Good evening. Tonight at the close of yet another day, I would like to talk to you about one of the things that mankind fears the most in this life. Loneliness. Being alone with no one to care and understand. Did you know that one can be lonely although you stand in a large crowd somewhere? We hate to be left out of it. Our being demands that we become part of this world. Everybody wants to be wanted and all people want to be accepted. See them as they walk down the streets, chattering to one another as they feel inwardly content to be part of the crowd, smiling and laughing and walking together. And yet loneliness is like a cancer that destroys from the inside. I wonder if we had the power to see people as they really are, honestly are, in God's sight. What would we see? One can read loneliness in the eyes of those of whom we meet each day. We stand alone in our ideals, our ideas, our hopes, desires and aspirations. We stand alone in our innermost fears. And seemingly, there is no one to care. Psalm 102 verse 7 says, I watch and am a sparrow alone upon a housetop. The day is done, a day we will never be able to call back. Every lost second is now lost. Did you feel alone? Did you feel as if no one cared? Didn't anybody even give a gentle smile? Well, you're not alone. Jesus promised in his word that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Every hassle you had today, every mountain that loomed above you like an inconquerable giant, he was right there and is still there right now with you because he cares and he understands. He too was lonely. Psalm 38 verse 11 says, My friends stand aloof from me and my saw and my kinsmen stand afar off. In his darkest hour they left him, but he said in John 16:32, Yet I am not alone because my Father is with me. Come out of that loneliness. God is just one prayer away. He knows, He cares, and He understands about those failures and endeavors of yours and mine. Come to Christ at the end of this day and cast your care upon Him, for He careth for you. Let us pray. Father, we come tonight just as we are, and we come knowingly that you care for us and that you love us because of Jesus. Lord, we confess this day's failures and bring-downs, but Lord, we also acknowledge thy love and strength in the victories. We come without one plea, simply to sense thy presence and hear your words of encouragement and forgiveness, telling us that you are close to us, yea, closer than a brother. Lord, hold our lives in thy hands and strengthen us by thy spirit for the tasks of the morrow. We ask this in the kingly name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Good night, and God be with you.
Goeie, suiver Virginia vir satisfaksie. Daar is een bonus. Daar is een bonus. Een groot, groot bonus. Daar is een bonus in die toekomst met verdedigingsbonus obligaties. Nou by die naaste postkantoor te koop. Daar is een bonus. Daar is een bonus. Daar is een bonus. Daar is een bonus. Groot, groot bonus. Geen bonus vir die toekomst. Help ons hand en help ons mense. Geef vir mooier nieuwe morgen. Vir ons hand en vir ons mense. Bonus, dis die winbelegging. Monday to Sunday, every day is good hope day. Thank you.